Hey, what's up guys? Brian here, Brian's Law Maintenance. Hey, we're gonna be talking a little bit about aerations today, including checking out the brand new 40 inch X Mark aerator. A lot of you guys have actually seen this before from LT Rich, and this is part of the new Z Rate line. You know, uh, we did the little drop off and walk around video here just a couple days ago, kind of showed you some of the specs, and I wanna show it actually in action. So if you guys wanna check out a little bit more from the X Mark 40 inch aerator, let's check it out right here, right now. All right, guys, well, let's do a little uh, recap from last week's video. We got the extra overseeder and seeder that is an optional accessory. 40 inches on the tines. This is actually driven by the tire, so it's not chain driven like the 30 inch unit where it's gonna bring the tines underneath the platform and it all moves in the same system. It actually gets pushed forward by the drive tires. Now, before we're done, there's a couple things I don't like about this unit that I wanna weigh in on, just to give it a, an honest assessment and my opinion on it, but so far, uh, it's been a fun unit to use, but there's definitely a learning curve. It is a lot larger of a unit to use versus my 30 inch uh, aerator. And I think the biggest learning curve here for me personally is, because it's such a larger unit on my smaller properties, right? Um, it takes some getting used to to go around these boulevards, for example, right? All these boulevards here, up and down the trees, kind of hard to do uh, when you're going around air conditioning units or around houses, for example, also a little bit hard to do. So here's what I would imagine. And by the way, I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts. Uh, this isn't just a, I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts, right? If you guys have one, like leave me a comment down in the comments, for real. Um, here's my thought or suggestion is, let's say this 40 inch unit, I think a good unit to have with it is going to be that walk behind aerator, right? That 21 inch, 20 inch, 14 inch, whatever they are, a little drum aerator. You guys know what I'm talking about. Uh, you can usually pick those up used for a thousand bucks. The reason I say that is because what happens if you get stuck having to do a boulevard or around a couple trees and this big dog aerator, now the tines are 40 inches, but the width is probably a little bit more than that, right? Um, I just feel like you might run into a pinch uh, with trying to get around trees or boulevards if you're into subdivisions, right? Now, here's where I think this machine's gonna shine. If you're doing half acres or above properties, good to go, for real. Half acre or larger, this is just my assessment, right? XMark doesn't give me any talking points. This is just what I'm thinking. Uh, because here's what I'm noticing. All my subdivision lawns here, we've done four aerations today. I got a couple extra clips I can show you. Um, we've been doing great on it, but I'm noticing that it's kind of hard for me to finagle compared to my 30 inch unit that we have there in the trailer, right? So I think for me personally, quarter acre or even half acre or under, I'm gonna still rock and recommend that 30 to you guys and also for my business. Um, just because we're rocking this 40 inches, you're thinking, oh, 10 inches more, like 20%, uh, 25% more productivity. Um, I don't think that's the case on the smaller properties, right? That's a whole part where some size, uh, sometimes size doesn't matter, right? <laughs> so anyway, uh, here's what I would say. Let's see, rocking a 40 inch unit. My uh, observation so far is you might want to have a walk behind unit with it. And that could also double up for those gated backyards, right? Now, one thing I'm also noticing is that this fuel tank, it's only like three to five gallons here. It's not bad by any means. Um, I just wish it was a little bit larger, but I think I'm kind of biased to that on all units of, uh, of mowers that we run. I think bigger gas tanks are better than smaller gas tanks, right? A um, couple things that uh, I don't like. I'll tell you guys straight up, this down here, extremely hot. I mean, I'm wearing my, my Cujo shoes, right? Little Cujo shoes. Uh, extremely hot pocket down here. Like my feet are toasty, burning up. Um, I gotta blow this off. We're doing uh, aerations back to back. We're doing this property right now. And I just did this property right here. Uh, but here's my, my point. This is really, really hot. It's not a make it or break it deal. Uh, it is 85 degrees today, for real. Uh, but this fan, this hydro fan, sucking heat down. Um, I'm not saying they need another radiator to blow it out, but um, it is kind of uncomfortable. Something I do like is the battery box right here. This is really, really helpful because let's say you do only use the aerator uh, a couple times in the spring, a couple times in the fall, and let's say the battery goes dead or you're storing it over winter, right? From fall to spring in Michigan, that could be five months, honestly. Hey, on the 30 inch unit, the battery is tucked all the way underneath and that's super frustrating because we've had to jump it and it's almost inaccessible, right? This right here, I love the idea. I love the design. Now, another thing I don't like, this right here. Uh, it's not, again, make it or break it. However, a brake is still an important part of any unit and it should work correctly, right? This right here, it, it's just it's just kind of, I don't know, it's just kind of funky. Uh, I'm not overly impressed with the design or the engineering on it. Uh, it's got the little feet, the little teeth here that grab into it, but let me show you really quick, for example, how 
useless it is really. So what happens in the uh, trailer, so what happens in the trailer is that this doesn't work. So you gotta strap it down for sure. Now you should strap all of your equipment down anyway, but strapping it down while also having the parking brake would be super helpful. Oh, by the way, where are you gonna strap it down? Not to beat it up, but here's the deal. Where, where are you gonna tie this thing down? Uh, it would be nice, same thing with the, the mowers or the mid, like uh, some of the stand-ons, right? It'd be nice to have a bar that goes up top so that way I can actually run a, a tie strap down over top. Now I guess you can make the argument, well, you're supposed to tie it up up front and tie it in the back. What tie down is going up in here? This is, look at that, this is, I don't know. Now I know Xmark inherited this from LT when they purchased them a year or two ago, whatever it was. And I'm not saying that they're not going to make continual improvements on it, right? Uh, but the reality is that um, I'm sure their focus right now is on other units, right? Let's just be honest. So is this gonna get a makeover? That's the big question. If they do, some D rings up front, widen these out, that would be nice and helpful. By the way, nothing on the back. So again, I have a parking brake that doesn't work and I have nowhere to tie this down. I can't really hook to too much spots. I guess you could say here, but again, that's a pretty small hook. Most of our tie down straps are the doubles, right? And again, if I'm going to loop it over top, am I gonna put it put pressure here? No. Am I gonna put pressure here and on the hoses? No. So that's just one of my questions, right? All right, told you I'm not gonna to try to bash it too much. Sorry, X Mark, but you know what? Honest reviews. And uh, one thing with the, our channel is that we never let the company squelch the voice, okay? We wanna shoot it to you guys straight. Price tag, 13,400, plus or minus, check your dealer, check promos, all that other stuff, right? Um, not a bad price. Not a bad price. Uh, honestly, you can make money doing aerations all day long. We've got an aeration course and a lot of aeration videos can teach you how to do that. Um, any which way, I think I've talked enough. You guys wanna go see it in action? All right, let me grab the GoPros and uh, let's go aerate this lawn. This is my last one for our spring aerations. I gotta tackle this here. I'll put the GoPro on the stick and uh, try to get some footage for you guys here, all right?
Well, that's what I got for you guys on this one. Again, love to hear you guys' thoughts, what you think about the 40-inch Mark aerator. Look how dusty it is. We just got done doing that lawn. As you can see, it's pretty, pretty dry out. I've actually had a dry couple of days here, but usually it's a little bit more lush when we do our aerations. Anyway, uh, impressed with the machine. I like it. Um, I don't know if I would go with this one for my size properties. Again, like I said, I think if you're doing anything like quarter acre or less for subdivisions, again, I got about, I don't know, four hours on this thing maybe, not even, probably two hours. Uh, I'd probably go with the 30 overall. Uh, but if you got wide open stuff, man, if you're doing like fur and seeding and uh, all that mess, this might be the way to go for you. I don't know. I'm kind of mixed. Love to hear you guys' thoughts. Not not a bad unit by any means, um, but I'm just kind of curious, like where does it fit in for the, the owner operator, small business? I think you need to be a, a dedicated turf company or have a little bit larger air ratio route to justify one of these guys. All right, guys, well, that's what I got for you on today's video. If you want to check out more of this unit, I'll leave some links in the description down below. If you guys are new here, don't forget to subscribe, man. We're all about lawn care landscaping on this channel and anything I can do to help you guys grow, you let me know. All right, guys, over and out. Have a great day. We'll catch up with you here on the next one.